Hello everybody, uh, my name is Alexandra Hess and this week for the community scan I chose to uh, do a demographic community scan on Sacramento County because I plan to be teaching in that area. Um, I currently live a little bit north from Sacramento County but I do plan to commute and teach in that area. So I was very interested in learning about the um, poverty rates, the income rates, and so forth um, in this community. So we'll begin with persons living in poverty. Um, I learned that 16.6% of the people in Sacramento County live in poverty. Um, I was very shocked at this uh, finding because I did think that it was going to be a little bit higher. Um, so that was shocking to me, but I am uh, I found this particular number on the U.S. Census Bureau, so this is an accurate number. Um, I also found that roughly 10,000 children under the age of five live in poverty in the Sacramento County. I also found at the same resource um, that from live stories that children between the ages six and ten, there's also about roughly 10,000 children uh, living in poverty. So those are very high numbers. Um, that's, it's just a lot of children to be living in poverty and going to school and living in hunger and so forth. Um, there were 80, I found that 85.3% of people in the Sacramento County area have their high school diploma, but 13.2% of people in the Sacramento County area do not have their high school diploma. Um, as far as income, the median income overall is seven well as as of 2019 was seventy seven thousand dollars per year but the median income for men was thirty five thousand eight hundred and thirty eight dollars and for women the median income was twenty nine thousand six hundred nineteen to thirty two thousand two hundred twenty eight so you can see that there is a gap between these two um genders so men still in this situation make more than women as far as the median income which i was not surprised by um the median housing costs i chose to instead of doing a rent cost i chose to do um, the median housing costs as far as people who are living and buying buy, home buyers and that median cost is three hundred three um Roughly $300,000, a little over $300,000, and I found that from the U.S. Census Bureau as well. Um, assumptions that changed my, or discoveries that I found during this community scan that challenged my assumptions was the fact that everybody has a high school degree. Um, because in this findings, I found in this scan I found that there was a pretty good percentage of people that don't have a high school degree and so that was shocking to me to see how many people in that area doesn't do not have a high school degree or any even any education higher um, the element of the community scan that surprised me the most was the fact that there are such a great number of children who are living in poverty in just this little area that was shocking and um, heartbreaking to know how many children may possibly be going hungry, going without shelter, and um, going out with their without their basic needs, um, things that we all take for granted on a daily basis. And so that was very surprising and shocking to me. Um, I found a quote by Roger L. Martin and Sally Osberg, and that and it has to do with the idea of social entrepreneurship and why it is so important. And so it says, and it distinguishes the difference between a social entrepreneur and a entrepreneur. The social entrepreneur, however, neither anticipates nor organizes to create substantial financial profit for his or her investors. Um, instead, the social entrepreneur aims for value in the form of large-scale transformational benefit that accrues neither to a significant segment or society at large. So, social entrepreneurs are aiming to help these people that are struggling, such as the children in poverty, the parents who may have 
children with disabilities that may cost extra as far as wheelchairs and vans and so forth. So there are so many what I enjoyed about this community scan was I found that there are so many resources in the Sacramento County area that are meant to help these families, these children who are living in poverty, who are struggling with, you know, decision making and so forth. So um, I was really happy to learn about this area and um, I'm excited to keep learning about social entrepreneurship. Thank you.